Okay, so we've touched before, I think, on this matter of interpretation. You know, you've got you've got this score, and in fact, you know, everyone that does, everyone that conducts Beethoven Five will have a very similar, if not identical, set of information in front of them. But yet, we know there are huge numbers of performances, and all of them have their own character. All of them sound a little bit different. How do you make something that's so established and so well known, sort of fresh and new and exciting? Exciting for sure. One <laughs> hopes. Um, new, I, I, I don't know. I mean. Um, New, old, old-fashioned, new. I mean, there's this whole thing of of the performance of of the music of Beethoven's time, um, which through the kind of beginning of the recorded age. So I, I guess if you if we started in the 1950s, when you know Carian and the Berlin Philharmonica and, and orchestras like that were were you know, the golden age of the recorded mm -hmm. era, they were playing music of of this time. You know, through the lens of the 20th century, in a way, mm. um, there was then the the historical, historically informed performance music, otherwise known as hip, um, <laughs> which kind of tried to to recreate uh, the the way that the music would have been played in Beethoven's time. Um, so, therefore, the sort of slightly more modern approach is, in a way, the ancient approach rather than the old-fashioned approach, which was the 20th century approach, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Um, but the, the the ways in which that Th those, those different performances come, at, come out are, are many and varied. Um, there are very simple, straightforward things like how fast you choose to go. Um, mm. And if you look, using again Beethoven's Fifth mm. as an example, um, the, 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 one of the shortest recordings, when I had a look this morning online, uh, the shortest times for the first movement uh, was a, a performance by Sir John Elliott Gardner um, with his uh, period orchestra um, using original instruments or copies of original instruments of the day mm. and a relatively mm. small size of orchestra. Now he gets through the first movement of Beethoven 5 in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, mm. On the other hand, a Romanian conductor called Sergiu Celebedaci, um, who would have been in a different time, uh, 30 years ago or so, uh, would have been conducting this music with a much larger orchestra, perhaps double the number of string players. Mm. Um, he takes uh, almost nine and a half minutes for the same music. So that's, that's a different, getting on for 50% mm -hmm. difference. Mm -hmm. So, so those, those very basic choices about how fast you want to go have a, a tremendous effect. And I guess that's before we even get to the, the sound of, of the orchestra, which obviously, if, if you're using perform, um, instruments from Beethoven's day, it's going to sound very different than if you're using modern instruments and the number of players is going the, to make a huge the, difference the, the, as well. the factors are the, the number of players uh, the, the kind of instruments um, the the hall that you're in has, mm. a, has a tremendous effect you know if, if you're in a very very resonant acoustic you might have to take a slightly slower tempo than you would do in a drier acoustic because mm. the detail might just be a little bit lost mm. um, every orchestra will have its own um, its own history of playing a certain piece that the, the string players would, would perhaps use different boings um, than yeah. they would do. Um, they would be changing from ups to downs at different times from, from what a different orchestra might do and that would all affect the performance and, and that's really why you know you can, you can attend as many live performances of Beethoven 5 as you like and, and every one would be would be different mm. um, and every every one would appeal to different people in different ways I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's a little bit the same to come back to the conductor's role in that um, of our sort of overview of the whole process and, and you know what, what 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 an orchestra wants is is a vision from a conductor. You know, they, they, you have 80, 90, 100 incredibly talented professional um, um, opinionated people in front of you. You know, there's absolutely no way that everyone is going to agree with every decision you take. Mm. But as long as there's a decision, they'll go with you. Yeah. Um, and they, some of them might really like it. Some of them might be a little bit ambivalent about it. Some of them might actually actively dislike some of your decisions. Um, but if you're there taking those decisions, then there is a, a, a unity to the performance mm. um, and, and they will, they'll go with that. And the next time they do that same piece with a different conductor two years down the line, it'll be different. The decisions yeah. will be different. The performance will be different. Yeah. So I think it's, it's just really, really worth thinking about, isn't it, that everyone is essentially working from that same text, but the, the music itself, you know. It's, it's a starting point, and if, if, it, if, it was, if it was absolutely possible to express everything about the music on the printed page, nobody would ever need to perform it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in the same way as, uh, as, as the... Um, uh, f f uh, for a theatre show, you know, in the same way as, the, as they have the, 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 the words written out on the page, and that's how they learn the words, that's only the starting point. They mm -hmm. then go off and interpret how to do that and how, to in how the different characters interact with each other and who stands at the front of the stage and who speaks a little bit louder at a certain point. Th those are then the decisions that are taken in the preparation for the performance, and it's, it's really very much the same approach with a, with a, a rehearsal process um, towards a, 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 any piece of uh, or orchestral or ensemble music. Mm. That's great. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. Get more from the Open University 
Check out the links on screen now.